now watching D. Brown Shenhan. What's up, everybody? It's D. Brown Shenhan here, back with some more My Team information. And with the recent start of the season, they've been dropping these moments cards like crazy. So I'm here today to let you know what I believe is the best cards in my team so far, the best moments cards. And for anybody who wondering, yo, why you got on a Warriors hat with a white and red t-shirt? Mind your business, that's why, all right? But without further ado, let's get into the video. Starting at number five, we got Moments Kawhi. Moments Kawhi is an overall 85. And looking at his stats, he's damn near the same exact card that they had in like his original card. All his defensive stats are exactly the same. They improved his shooting a little bit. He gets a lot of posters and like some of his like intangibles and stuff just to raise his overall. They, they really cheese that card, but I'll put it like this. Kawhi Leonard's moment, moments card does everything good, but nothing great. Like his defense isn't even great. It's like his defense is really good, but it's not great. But you know, 2K is doing this. I'm not gonna get on this rant again because I already talked about how cheese this, this whole my team system is with the player ratings. But we're not gonna get on that. So that's Kawhi Leonard at number five. And at number four, we got Sapphire, DeMarcus Cousins. That card is, if you know how to play in the post, then that card is a card that you want to get. His post game is unguardable, like, and he, he's so strong, he can back you, you can back somebody down and get an easy, like, hook shot or, or his, his post fade away, and he can shoot the three and he can shoot the mid-range jump shot, and he plays good defense, good defense, not great, but he plays good defense. But if you ask, like I said before, and I will I keep repeating it, but if you actually know how to use the post, then get DeMarcus Cousins because this dude cannot be guarded in the post. At number three, we got Sapphire overall, 85, DeMar DeRozan. I was I was hoping that they gave him a better card because De, DeMar DeRozan is my favorite shooting guard in the NBA right now. And I was looking at the, the post scoring of that card. Man, they, they got to put his post scoring up. But the mid-range jump shot is knocked down. He can shoot off the dribble. He can't shoot threes. He can... He can't shoot threes, but you know, that's that's to be expected. He can make plays, he dribbles well, and the posters that this card gets. I played with this, I played with this one in my team Blacktop. Boy, I went off. I don't have any footage because I don't I don't record all my games because I've been I've been grinding on my team Blacktop a lot lately. But I played with that card in there, there on there. Boy. If I didn't have Stackhouse, then I would that would most certainly be my starting shooting guard. I was thinking about buying him, but I was like, I'll wait. Because he's playing so well right now that I know he's going to get another moments card soon. And at number two, we got Ruby overall 89, Anthony Davis. And this card, his post game isn't better than DeMarcus Cousins' post game, but it's still good. It's still really good. Like, he's not going to, he's not going to just, like, throw his weight around because his strength ain't that high. But you can get post fadeaways, the post hooks, and everything. And he's so much faster than all the other big men in the game. Well, most of the other big men in the game. And he's long, so... His on offense, he and he can shoot the three ball and he can spread the floor with the mid-range jump shot. His rebounding is absolutely insane. Like if you look at his rebounding stats, it's incredible. And you already know Anthony Davis is gonna play solid defense. He's gonna play good on-ball defense and he's gonna get blocks. And he gets a lot of steals and he's fast. Like I said before, he's fast for a big man. So I say he's the second best. And a lot of I know this, this is this there might be some people who disagree with this about him being number two because of who's at number one. But at number one, I got James Harden as 88 overall Ruby card. Look at his stats, bro. You played with James Harden in 2K. I played with the regular James Harden in Play Now. That that 88 card is close to his regular card in Play Now. His finishing around the rim is is cheese, bro. His, he I, that's probably the best finishing card that I that I've played with. And I have 92 overall Amethyst Jerry Stackhouse. And that Harden finishes better than Jerry Stackhouse. I don't know how, but he does. He draws a lot of fouls just like James Harden in real life. Like people just, the refs just give him calls. I think his foul, his draw foul is like a 94 or something, which is absolutely absurd. His playmaking is crazy because that's the game where he had uh, the 17 assists and the 35 points. So his ball, ball control is a 90 and all of his uh, passing attributes are like high 80s. So, and they got, and he's a point guard, a 6'5 point guard. That's, that James Harden card is a mismatch, bro. But besides the not playing defense thing, there's really no knock on him. He can shoot the mid range, he can shoot the three. He's athletic, he's fast, he can get dunks, he get post. He gets and James Harden as always, he gets a lot of posterizers. So that's why he's at number one. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe. It's Friday. I got stuff I gotta do. 
actually I gotta go back on campus and do some work on a Friday. Friday evening, I'm gonna be on campus doing work. Ain't that some garbage? But as I said, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe. But until next time, I'm D Brown Shanghai, and I'm up out of here.